Skylight Heroes would be more like the... Oh, that's a more Skylight like hero. Like I was thinking Batrider, but yeah, Legion's another hero who likes to play good against the push with the overwhelming odds and, and trying to get this early first blood. Too. They've got the ward. They've got the ward for the courier, but I think they just want the killer at this point. And yeah, Spartan's gonna go in and get the disruption. Torrent gonna come oh, out trying wave. to block the creeps. Oh no, Spartan! He's now gonna get dropped by the cold snap and a right click from mid one. First blood goes his way, and Puppy's on the other side of things, catching maybe next time, body blocking him up. He has another crush up, so he can deal a lot of damage, unlikely to actually threaten his life. We'll see if a disruption from Spartan is gonna be possible. Yeah, it's an easy, easy kill here. He was playing it so safe and conservatively, and then he popped out, tried to get a bit of harassment damage on a Skylark, and that's when Ad Finum pounced. And he will top. The, uh, this is close. Disruption into Torrent. They have the nuking power. They don't have a uh, shallow grave yet for MP, but it looks like he may still survive. Spartan does get the vision for himself. The illusions will finish him off. A cold snap on a baby next time as Midwan pursues. Skylar can't help him out. He does not have press the attack to be able to help his buddy out. So it looks like maybe next time he's going to be food for the mid laner. Spartan also going to be dying inside the trees. Ran out of tangos, it looks like, to be able to eat his way through. So. Man. Needs to be very careful, but as you kind of suggested, why not try and at least zone the puck? And with the Orborn cooldown, they ideally want to try and go on him now. Kezu. Uh oh. All right, they're going to catch him here. Torrent is going to be laid out right after the disruption. No phase shift, so Kezu will be brought down. Yeah, Ad Finum, they are moving around quite a bit as well. It seems they know the static laning phase is just not theirs to win, so. They're trying to rotate these supports around, and Skylark is positioned for these heroes to go on him, but it looks like Ad Phantom are just going to be there a bit too late. They disrupt onto uh, the mid one Invoker. They're going to be able to get an arrow out. Looks like they did manage to stun him, but the Eclipse bounces. They hit only on the Dazzle, so the support goes down, yes, but mid one is kept quite healthy, and he has the Ghost of Walk up, ready to go if necessary. Yeah, I don't think... This is not like the kind of pace you want your Mirana to be playing at. Like, Thug's been moving around a lot, forced top lane. Doesn't feel like he's been able to just sit there and try and farm and finish his Aghanim Scepter. Just gonna kind of set him behind and... Mid one! How are okay. you here? He's gone from top, now to bottom. He's gonna be able to counter Madara as he tries to go on to Kezu. The burst damage comes out from the puck. They have the press the attack to pull him right back in. Thug is here. Can he hit the arrow? Oh no, he hits it on mid one. Still trying to finish off Kezu. A phase shift does dodge a little bit more. Now he gets dueled up, so surely Kezu is dead. Thug can't fight into Puppy and mid one, so those two... Uh, or from, well, from the puck or from the Drow soon so that they can like group up and take a couple more towers. Like Drow's kind of at that state where you're ready to perhaps TP towards this bottom lane, take two towers, feel pressured up top like there's going to be rotations coming your way. And interrupt that combo in time. Maybe next time he tries to hit the torrent, misses out on both of them. We'll get the X back into a duel here. Looks like they could probably burst him down. The arrow comes out and another winner. But it's going to be another loser too. Ad Finnum going to be dropping Spartan here in the back lines. Pilai die almost dies. Does manage to grave himself. Thug pushed back though. Press the attack is going to help him out a little bit. But he's surrounded on both sides. Puppy was there on the other side of the river. So a little bit tricky acrobatics. Thug does manage to leap himself over the river and into the woods maybe next time with this moonlight shadow finds the x sets up the torrent boat combination nice tornado to be able to interrupt some of this damage doesn't get hit by the arrow either so most of the damage negated thug is now the one who's going to be silenced up and brought down by mp and mid one Earn, he does a ridiculous amount of single target damage and he's burned to the mana but they do have the one the eclipse comes down mid one <laughs> oh 50 my HP. gosh Oh no, the boat's gonna come in, Kezu's gonna be stunned up. Skylark tries to hit the duel, but doesn't actually get it off. The animation is a little bit too soon. Arrow skims on by, Thug right in the middle of things. Double nuke, goes for mid one, mid one. He'll die this time, so does Kezu. Now it looks like Ad Finum can finally get some kills into their coffers. Pylai die, targeted, not gonna be the choice here. Instead, they turn towards Puppy, but Puppy turns around, just finishes off the Kunkka. A couple of nukes come his way, but he is plenty healthy. Meanwhile, this is just time being bought for MP in the bottom lane. Team fight to work, they need to make sure they're the ones getting a, a good clean jump and that's why they're going for this smoke up here. They've got a great ward as well. Man crush. Kezu's coming in from the side as well. They have a nice silence. Now a follow-up silence on top of that one. Kezu's going to be able to lock in two of these cores, make sure there is no escape for them. Puppy finds the perfect initiation. Uh, they will have to deal with a little safety there, which is scouting, but at this point, with all these heroes dead, there's not a whole lot Ad Finim can do to stop this roast from happening. They're gonna perhaps try though. They are kind of grouping up around this area. Mirana, or an arrow at least. Torrent and an arrow. 
A ship is on its way. MP is being bashed up by Roshan as well. MP is definitely very low in the pit, but he will manage to finish up Roshan and get that Aegis. Now Puppy's pulled back to his doom, it looks like. And Skylark's going to be able to get the duel on top of him. EMP, now Eclipse, chasing down Pylai Dai, gets him. They brought down MP, and they're going to bring him down again with a nice and time arrow out from Thug. Skylark's going to be caught, though. Nice disruption coming out from Spartan. The right defensive play that will save the only hero in danger from Ad Finum. A pullback here, but no counter vision. That oh. could have been a fourth hero down. Pull down. Ad Finum have been so scared of aggression coming out from that offlane position, but they're going to smoke up and actually be able to, or Moonlight Shadow up. They get Pylai dies, a quick duel. That's perfect, but Kezu responds. He managed to get a nice setup in Coil. Tornado EMP will burn out uh, Spartan, it looks like. The slowdown of Skylark will ensure he dies as well. Maybe next time in Madara caught together as a duo. Nothing really Madara could do. He tries to get in the middle of things set up for the Eclipse off of the ship's Coco's Rum, but it's not enough. He can't survive through all of that. Only Thug is going to be staying alive. And Finn, they seemed so sure that something was going to come out of that offlane. They had scans, they had aggressive wards, they had uh, a Kunkka kind of setting up, but... They get aggressive Thug. in bottom lane, and they're going to lose all five with Thug being the final one to get caught. And your position being revealed just for a dazzle kill. I think that's really the big part with that initiation, is it reveals exactly where Adfinim are, so the Invoker can line up a multiple hero tornado, uh, and it allows the Slada and the Puck to come in and land their spells, and then oh, it's Skylark. Done. He thinks he's coming in to save Spartan, but he just puts himself in danger of the coil. Deafening Blast, a little bit more to finish off Skylark, and there's the Sun Strike, but no. Skylark does manage to dance to the side with that shrine. He'll be healed up now. Puppy with a blink attempted strike is going to be caught. Pulled back by the X. He does have the Shallow Grave. That's going to prevent. No, or actually, no, the duel is won by Puppy. Puppy not able to get out, though. Madara will finish him off with a nuke, but they get a lot of damage on that tier 3 tower. They get some dual damage for Slardar. They trade one for two, all things considered. Secret pretty happy with yet another exchange with that Venom. Goal, which is mostly going to be around the Shadow Demon Luna. Like, Luna's going to be going all out on stats. I like that matter is not thinking about any kind of BKB pickup. Ooh, it's a There's dual the kill duel. up top, yeah. With the Boots of Travel set up. Ad Finim are trying to split and secret up as much as possible, but Midwan was sitting behind this one. Nice torrent into a boat. That'll hopefully save Thug as he makes his way out with a blink dagger. Maybe next yeah. time hides in the trees here. Does not actually have a TP, but Secret aren't really searching for him. Anyway, a dire scan doesn't really work. Attempted torrent to stop that TP doesn't actually make it. They're chasing down Madara right now. They do have the Moonlight Shadow. The Eclipse goes out. Kezu gets bursted down in that small window. The the slum little split second stun there of loosen beams allows multiple eclipse beams to be able to land it from it too he's gonna take oh, that yeah. hundred gold from the wards <laughs> Pi's gonna be like B but that's my gem double damage working on roshan right now scouting arrow doesn't actually land on anything they will manage to get that ages but puppy in its attempt to stop ad Finim, almost gets caught but a yule scepter blink out allows him to actually save his own life mp kind of similar scenario here caught out with the ages but they can't actually chase him down fully mid one's causing a lot of havoc especially to moderate who's now stuck inside the ice wall, does manage to get off the Eclipse, and a safe disruption buys Madara more time for that magic damage to go out, but Secret are dancing away from it, and then return to finish him off with physical damage, also catching Skylark inside the ice wall, and make pretty easy work of him. Puppy brought back, the arrow's actually going to miss out, as Yule Scepter used on, maybe next time prevents that pullback, and maybe next time is easily brought down with the Crows of Haze, and the physical damage of MP. Secret win out big time. They take down three, they still have the Aegis on MP, and they're going to threaten and high ground trying to force some buybacks without some progression in items on this luna as you said thug's gonna throw out an arrow seems like secret just kind of poke in they smoked up they're seeing if they can find a pick off see if ad finim uh stretch out a little bit too far somebody like thug especially with the yule scepter if they could time it at the right time oh there it is the x brought back right as puppy hit the yule scepter <laughs> nicely played by the captain of secret they get the pick off they needed 80 seconds down and secret will march into the base it's great to see, like, it wasn't even like they got annoyed by that like, X Marana farming a couple of times and then were like, oh wait, how do we solve this? Let's get a Yule's puppy, like, preemptively, like, rush straight Yule's this game against the Kunkka, and we're seeing him constantly try and punish that play. Nailer Rax almost being brought down, but here comes the true fight in the back lines of Shallow Grave. Will help save mid one against this duel. MP is having a hard time with dealing with all this bouncing damage, but he does have the Aegis, and he's bringing Monterey lower and lower. Another disruption, another attempted save. Somebody finish off MP. He finally does go down, press the attack, and a shrine will heal Monterey back up. A three versus four is going to commence here. 
over this range tracks or no secret they want they're actually just gonna go straight for bottom bigger objectives in mind thinking that they can win out in this team fight there is still an eclipse up Amadara, he doesn't actually have the space to be able to use it he gets brought down so quickly now mp he may be x'd up but he's gonna be able to pursue maybe next time an easy kill there Nato into a uh, Sunstrike. Puppies forcing back the last hero of Ad Finim. And with nobody up here, big cores down, especially uh, their Luna for 60 seconds. Seems like Ad Finim are just going to lose to the push of Secret straight into the tier fours. Yeah, they couldn't quite find an opportunity to get the Eclipse off on that high ground defense. Secret just very safely chipping away at the racks and waiting for Ad Finim to go on them. And by the time they do, Luna gets brought down like really low on HP. Doesn't want to use the Eclipse when she's on like four or five hundred HP. Has to get disrupted and 